works or if um, I'm gonna have problems <laughs> with this stream. This week is a nightmare because they're digging, um, they're digging up outside and sorting fibre out. So my connection keeps dropping in and out. Um, I guess whenever they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing outside my house. But it's looking like the stream is keeping going. So whilst I drink my coffee on mine, I better get going. So I've decided to bring you the Gothographic collection today. So this is another boxed collection set from Wet n Wild. I brought you Fire Dragon vs Ice Dragon over a couple of days earlier this week. Or maybe the end of last week, I think earlier this week. Uh, the box is missing for my gothographic set. I did have it in the big um, box, but my I think my daughter decided that she quite liked the look of that. So I've got everything separate to show you today. So I'll, first I'll show you what comes in that collection. Um, and then I'm going to swatch the collection a bit like I did with the Milani the other day. Except I got ready on the Milani stream the other day. And that didn't, that didn't work, so I ended up having to come back with just swatches. But what I'm going to do is test out the products as well. I haven't used this yet. It's not the most wearable set. Uh, I photographed it. Um, and I think at the time I swatched it a little bit for my blog. But that's all I did. I can't remember anything about it. I've not used it. Even the stickers still on the powder. So I'll show you what's in the collection first. I'm just going to get rid of my coffee. Oh. So... The first thing that I'm going to show you is this. It's a translucent highlighting powder. So we're going to open that and test that out today as well. And then, it was a really good set actually, the Gothographic. Then there's a pink highlighting powder. I think it has been swatched once, like I said, for the blog. And a white iridescent highlighting powder. There are three Gothographic liquid eyeliners, so purple, pink and white. I think from memory they're metallic as well. Yes, it says metallic. There are three liquid catsuit megalast, the metallic lipsticks. They're sort of metallic liquid megalast liquid catsuits. I really do like the metallic wet and wild lips. This is more wearable, of course. These two, the black and the blue, less wearable, but still fun. You could still use them for an eye look um, if you're not as adventurous with your lip looks. And they've got the cute, like, gothographic um, themed packaging on the top. I do like how they theme these limited edition sets wet and wild. And there was also the liquid catsuit Megalass liquid catsuit I can't even read it on that long liquid eyeshadow so these are glittery shimmery eyeshadows and it's been a while when I first got it I swatched these also um, when I first got them but I haven't used them since so what I'm going to do first I'm just going to put a transition shade in my crease and then I'm going to check out one of the liquid eyeshadows. I'm going to try probably the loose highlighter. I'm going to swatch everything as I go as well and then I can show you on my arm the swatches as we go. Um, and I will do a get ready me, pop the lips on, the loose highlighter, swatch all the other stuff, maybe try the eye glitter, see how that goes and we'll just do a sort of get ready with me first impressions swatch uh, video for you today. Really easy video. So I'm just going to pack on, I'm going to use the Milani Matte palette that I used yesterday. I fell in love with this yesterday with my first impressions on this. Absolutely loved. I've already got the mascara on the Milani. I've got BB Cream. I've got Wet n Wild Bronzer on the one from the um, Fire Dragon vs Ice Dragon set. I've got Wet n Wild Bra Retractable Brow Pencil on, and I think that is it. I've got a uh, Rimmel Concealer, the Wake Me Up. Is it Rimmel or Revlon? Um, it's Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. I always get confused whether that concealer is Rimmel or Revlon. I don't know why. It's just going to be something that always happens, I figure. So I'm just putting a base of a nude. My eyeshadow, I've not primed my lids today. We're just going 
super quick, super easy swatch video. I don't have any jobs to do, well I do, but my kids are sick so I can't do the supermarket shopping or anything to do. So I'm not too worried about if I decide to go with a black lip or anything. I don't need to um, go out later today. It's hard work because if you do something sometimes really creative, then you've got to wash your face before you continue with the rest of your day. Going about your mum duties and shopping, you can't do it um, always with... Um, a black metallic lipstick on and like a, a dark purple glittery eye it doesn't always just um, fit in with your plans so I'm just taking the next shade in the Milani palette as a transition shade just so that I've got something on here as a base I've already got my mascara on like I said so I'm trying to avoid that obviously but just to give a little bit of depth and definition to my eyes. And it's just gonna make all the difference when applying and testing out the glitter. Like I said, I'm not too worried about um, going crazy perfect because it's more about swatching this gothographic collection. So I'm just putting that transition shade in. Okay, so now let's get on to the good stuff. <laughs> that was just the Milani matte palette that I brought yesterday, just popping that in um, my crease just so that I've got a transition. I'm not going to wear the liquid eyeliners today, like I said I'm just doing general mum duties so I'm not feeling like metallic eyeliner and it's been a while since I've opened these and look, you see the brush is looking a little funky. Um, like I said I didn't really test it out and do proper swatches, I just opened it and did a really quick first impressions for my blog so I can't even remember what these are like. If anyone wants to know, I have showered, I put the Milani liquid eyeliner on there yesterday and I removed it with everything, soap and water and oil and it is still there. So if you do want an eyeliner that stays forever, the Milani, what is it? The Infinite uh, liquid eyeliner up to 24 hour wear. It's 24 hours later and it's been washed and then a shower and it's still not come off. So that definitely. You can tell this is my swatch arm. That definitely stays. <laughs> so you don't need to worry about that. If you're looking for a liquid eyeliner, check the Milani out. So the pink, and these brushes have gone a little bit funky. Now, I can't guarantee that my little girl's not been playing with it in between. And messing with the liquid eyeliners because especially with the wet and wild sets, this brush looks perfect. Especially with the wet and wild sets, she um, she can get a little bit excited about trying them out because they're always sparkly and they're always so pretty. So those are the three liquid eyeliners in the Gothographic set. I wonder if you can see the metallic sheen on there. So we've got white, which is more pearlescent than a brilliant white. We've got a pink, which is like a true pink. It's really soft. And the purple's like a lilac -y purple, and they are shimmery and they are metal they are a metallic finish. And I'm getting that payoff more from the pink and the white than the purple, but they're definitely metallic. So I'm gonna try the eyeshadows next. So these are liquid eyeshadows, so I'm gonna swatch these for you and see what the colour payoff is with these. I'm not even sure I've swatched all the colours of these, yeah. So, liquid eyeshadow number one. This is in the colour Nyctophilia. Now, it is translucent, you can see through that colour. Um, I'm not sure how 
because I feel like I'm just spreading it about, but it is still wet. Might go in with a second layer and see if that builds or not with it still being wet. I'm imagining once you let it dry, you'll probably be able to build a lot easier on that colour. I mean, it's still a pretty, for a liquid glitter eyeshadow, it's pretty, um, it's pretty pigmented. So the next colour is in Goth Tears. Let's check this out. Oh, this is nice. I might try this one on my eyes. This is, um, it has got the glitter in, but it feels more, less chunky and more metallic -y as a finish. I might try that one on my eyes now and let that dry as I swatch the last one. We try this on the lid and see what the payoff is with this. The only thing about this is opening your eyes at the end. Whilst it's still wet, if if that's gonna give a big transfer. And also sometimes the actual applicators themselves can be a little bit chunky. So that's on my eye there. And that's it on my arm. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty delicate actually. It's not too, it's not too bad at all. I'm just gonna try it on this eye and try and not make a mess. It is quite a big applicator, but all being said, considering the size of the applicator, it's not applying too badly. It's not applied too badly at all. I'm just trying to let it dry and then see what the actual shimmer is. You might be able to tinker with that and add a little bit more eyeshadow for more of an impact. But I feel like the more I'm messing with it, the more I'm actually taking off now with this. So I'm gonna let that dry and see how we go with that shade so the third liquid eyeshadow color is a really pretty um oh it is really pretty like it's like a pearly color almost golden i'd probably say more champagne in color it's really translucent quite moussey this one so it is just almost like it's not there but just a glossy sheen let's see that properly if you can see that it's really just a shimmer like a champagne shimmer really really dainty in colour that might have been a better choice for today and given the transition colours that I put on but hey ho we'll roll with it yeah, the shimmers. I'm loving the shimmers on that. I'm going to move on to powder highlight. I'll probably swatch highlights on this arm. So I'm going to use this on my face. But first we'll swatch all of them. So first we've got the white translucent powder that I want to swatch. So I'm literally just going to swatch from this side where it looks like I've probably swatched before when I do my blog. Well, that is quite a white highlight. I don't know if it's paying off there. I'll try and pop a little bit more on. It's definitely a true like frosted white, whereas the one in the Ice Dragon versus Fire Dragon has got like a blue glitter in it. Because when I saw this, I thought, oh, that's going to be really similar. But it's not. It's definitely white. You're getting that white payoff. If there's any colour in it, I'd say sheen wise it it's more lavender 
but when it's transferred over to the skin you're not seeing that as much you're seeing it in my fingerprint i guess more i'm gonna try this mega glow in the pink because i'm gonna go where i've swatched it before partly because i don't want to disturb the cool skull pattern on there it's really subtle it's definitely more subtle than i thought it was going to be for a highlighter there's a sparkle in it i don't feel like it's too chunky it is wearable like a highlighting blush almost i don't know if that's got much of a payoff color wise Yeah, you can hardly see it really. There's not much payoff at all on the camera. But it's like you could wear that as like a highlighting blush. I don't know if you can see it on my finger, it's almost got like that lavender pink shimmer to that as well. Just take that off there. So that's the white highlighter, that's the pink. Totally nowhere near as shimmery as the liquid eyeshadows or the um with the liners so what i'm going to do now i'm going to swatch this one and this is the one that i'm going to apply to my face people have been raving about this all over instagram and i never even opened it so i don't think i wrote about this on my blog um because i haven't even tested it unless i pulled off the lid to test it i think i was thinking about giving it in a giveaway but hey we're using it now so i'm not going to do that so let's shake it out People have been absolutely raving about this, so I can't wait to try it. I'm just going to find a highlighting brush, she says. They're all missing. We'll try this one. This one's from the Fire Dragon vs. Ice Dragon. Oh my god, it looks so gold. Now, I don't know how this is going to... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's so pigmented! I can't actually believe that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blend that in with this blush brush that I've got. I can't actually believe how pigmented that is. I know people on Instagram were obsessing over it. I'm not even dipping my brush back in. I'm just tapping it on, but look at that glow. It's like crazy. I'm like rubbing it off and I've still got loads of glow. It's gonna last me forever this stuff. I feel like I've probably taken a bit too much off now. <gasps> that glow though. Oh my word. That there's so much product in there as well. It's gonna last forever. I'm just gonna swatch that on here because that is just phenomenal. Let's just get some on my finger. The glow off that is unbelievable. Watch it, it's not going to pay off now, is it? Because of where it is on my arm. I don't feel like I'm getting... That's it there, but it's just totally not. That's where I've swatched it. It's totally not got any colour payoff. But on my finger where I've just dipped it in. And on the brush where I applied it to my face. Like, this is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. The glow off there. I can't believe it. I look like I'm dipped in gold in the in real life as well. I'm looking in my mirror here and I look like I'm literally dipped in gold. Um, but I love it. Right, so that's a big thumbs up for that. It is loose. Um, that's the first time I've opened it and I've only tapped it once and loads has come out. It is loose, but there's so much product in there. That's like going to last an age. I can't believe it. So definitely the liquid uh, uh, the liquid eyeshadows and the highlighter for me so far um, are definitely the winning ones. I've got this one on my eye. We tested this one and I've got the Milani mattes as a as a transition colour. But I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna try this because it's a slightly more wearable lip colour on my lips, and then I'm gonna swatch the other colours from the collection on my arm. I'm just going to Get a mirror. I have exfoliated my lips earlier and um, put some lip balm on, but that's all dried off now. I 
that's really subtle it is miles more subtle than i thought it was going to be it's a lot softer on the lips as well it's really moussey now i have got wet and wild um metallic liquid cat suits other ones and i don't recall them feeling as loose and as soft as this but I've come out looking a lot more delicate than I thought I would in this makeup look. That's why I sort of came with hardly anything on my face. But actually, it's really gentle. It's really pastel. Are you alright, little one? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so I'll swatch them on my arm. I'll try and avoid where the Milani liquid eyeliner still is that I can't get off because it's impossible to get off. I don't know. I'm actually worried about trying that on my eyes now um, because it just won't come, off, won't come off my eye. And that's it from yesterday's video. And I've taken it off with oil, taken it off with makeup remover cloth, taken it off with hot soapy water. And then after that, I had a shower and it's still there. So God knows how long it'll take to come off. But it says 24 hour work. And I suppose it's just been about 24 hours. So this is the black matte liquid lipstick. I will just the all metallics. This gothographic collection is such a cute collection. It really is. It's so nice to look at. It was so nice to photograph as well for the blog. If you're looking at if you're looking at look at, if you're looking if you're wanting to look for more detailed like photographs of it, I've got plenty on the blog, which is um there's a link to it on the homepage of my channel. I think I photographed it for Instagram as well, but that'll be a little while back because I post more regularly on Instagram than I do anywhere else. So I've got a full arm of swatches today. Let's go through everything and I'll show you what the products actually look like in the containers as well. So I know people drop in and out of here regularly. So, the liquid eyeliners, metallic liquid eyeliners, white, pink and purple. Those are the top three. Those are the shimmers you're getting off those. For me, a little bit chunky. The brushes are a little bit harder to work with. Personally, I would probably use something like this i would probably use like a liner like sculpting brush a flat brush and then i would probably dip that in my brush and then use that on the eye rather than the brushes that it comes with the product itself is fine a couple of my brushes were a little bit crunchy and um, and i've not used these before but like i said my little girl sometimes goes in my stash and so i've got it you know and so if that has happened then that could have done that but personally, those brushes are the smoothest, so I would probably just use another brush. I'd use that anyway. The liquid eyeshadows. That's those. That's in the order that they swatched on my arm as well. The centre one, we popped on my eyes to see how it looked on the eyes. And if I just take a closer look in the mirror... It hasn't creased really badly. And I've got creasy eyelids anyway and I've got hooded eyes. It hasn't creased like massively badly. I'm just wondering how much transfer. There's some transfer but not a ton. And once they dry they're pretty. Yeah they're pretty set once they dry. The liquid lips. Which order have we done? I've done that in the same order. As they are there i've got the top one on it's miles more subtle than i thought it was going to be on uh, i thought it was going to be slightly deeper nude but it's definitely pastel -y. it's definitely like holographic uh, i don't know if like i've got a particularly good look on because this set is got a graphic i think when you break it all down it's it's completely pastel -y in shades but there's the black metallic. It's got a shimmer through as well. So more so the metallic, but they are shimmer too. So the pink, the black, and the blue in that section. I mean, the eye colours, they all look pretty wearable to me. 
the star of the show without a doubt although i can see me reaching for this more regularly and probably the liquid eyeshadows too now that i've swatched it and come on here i'm probably going to use it a little bit more um than i thought i would because i hadn't properly opened them like i said i just blogged about it this was phenomenal like unbelievable phenomenal i dipped that in there what what came out and I don't know if it's going to get the same payoff straight away, but the glow that I got on my highlighting parts here, like when I just swipe that there, <laughs> you can see it straight away more. And there, like the glow was unbelievable. And I only dipped the brush once and I actually wiped it off with another brush because it was too much. But it's a real natural, neutral colour. And it's just such a glow. It's like just glow dust. So for me, that, I mean, in summer, like on your decolletage as well, like that's going to be phenomenal. God, I could see it. Just use it for all sorts. Just that dewy finish. You could even, if you were wearing powder, just pop it underneath. Translucent powder and bronzer on a doubt, and you're just going to glow. I don't know if these are paying off, but the white, the pink, and then underneath I did put that other colour, <laughs> the Queen of Spikle, and I've got loads of spikles on my arm, yeah. So here is the pink, it didn't pay off on my arm so much, I didn't swatch that on my face, maybe we could try the other colours, that's the white one, yeah, the British accent, I'm, I'm I'm British and I live in New Zealand so not everybody understands me here as well because I've got a really northern British accent a little bit like Jon Snow so um yeah I'm not the easiest to understand but hey I've got one accent and I'm stuck with it so those are the two highlighters um like the compact highlighters the pressed highlighters in there I've definitely had more glow from Wet n Wild highlighters maybe it's because um this is so amazing that I just feel like these might be a little lacklustre but in saying that I'd love the more pigmented than the one that I swatched underneath so I would love to um to try those on my face when I've not um I would like to uh, to try them on my face and do a proper maybe first impressions with them because they just swatched. I don't feel like I'm probably doing them justice as I should be. But that's the entire collection. My makeup revolution collection didn't arrive, so that's why I'm not swatching and doing a first a true first impressions of that. I cannot wait uh, because it's been a long time waiting for them to get to New Zealand. Um, and be able to buy them just at a department store that's local to me so I cannot wait for that to come but I have had something else in the post today and I've just had a sneaky peek and Max Factor have sent me um, like a, a little QPR package with some new stuff and it looks like there's an eyeshadow quad and mascara and a liquid liner at first glance but I need to take all the tissue out and have a proper look so there's a press release for that so I'll bring that to you maybe do an unboxing and show you what's in there and some swatches tomorrow um and then we can we can see what that's like together i've had i've been so um fortunate this week i've been super lucky with the massive milani send out um the wet and wild uh, fire dragon versus ice dragon the makeup revolution that i'm waiting for and the max factors come today i've got a feeling that i'm waiting for a couple more packages this week as well from um pr companies so um i guess we'll see um we'll see what they are when they when they come and i will unbox them with you and maybe do a quick get ready with me first impressions pop it all on the face um, I can't wait for the makeup revolution to come though because that's actually got uh, some base products in so the conceal is coming. Usually I come on here because uh, I get a lot of coloured products sent. I don't often get a lot of like foundations and stuff sent. Wet n Wild sent me the full range in their photo focus, the full light to medium range. They didn't send me the dark colours um, so that I could try that out. And I think what I'll do is I'll do that on a video but because I don't usually get the base products um regularly i tend to come on with my base already done uh, so if i'm testing out a bronzer i'll do that and i won't contour 
But yeah, because I, I'm sort of not showcasing those. There's this stuff that like aren't new and you probably already know about. But I definitely think we need to do a photo, photo focus swatch because I've got about 10 of the colours and then you can really have a check out um, what the shades are like on my skin, what I wear and then the comparison with the colours in between. But those are the swatches from the Gothographic collection. It's a super cute collection. You don't need to get the box. You can buy them individually. They are limited edition. So once they're gone, they're gone. I don't know how available they are everywhere for, for everybody else. But um, like I said, I got mine as a, as a press release. So I'm fortunate enough to get the whole set. Uh, but yeah, these are actually... I'm loving these. I think they're one of the stars of the show as well. This is probably a little bit paler than what I'd usually wear. But hey-ho, we're testing it out and this is the reality. And the blue eyeshadow I wouldn't usually wear. Perhaps I would have gone for more of this champagne or more of a smoky on a different day. But that's it, the glow. Definitely, if you can get your hands on that and you're into makeup, then buy that because it's phenomenal. Um, and it's so cheap. Wet and Wild stuff is so cheap and it's vegan friendly and cruelty free. I think there's just a couple of the red shades that aren't vegan friendly because it's got the crushed beetle and whatever it is in it, which is not ideal but better than most brands okay everybody so i'll see you ah fingers crossed i'll get this makeup revolution package can't wait but i will see you in the morning and we'll unbox the max factor stuff that i've been sent today um and swatch that all right guys bye